Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue and probably finish our dear Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Last time, we suffered immensely at the hands of the Battle Frontier, so I took a small break. And then my brain decided to break a bit for the past few days, so that's why it's been a bit since we've gotten back. But I figured we should try and at least begin the ending. But the plot here is, the scheme is, we are going to first catch Rayquaza. He's the easiest to get. We're then going to head over to the Weather Institute because I do believe that... Well, I guess we could also check up on Steven Stone. That one guy, he's over, let's go to the Pokenav, he's like... Uh, He's over here where the rocket fuel was. He's in Masadi. We can check on him because, like, yeah, important people. Why not? I uh, made sure to level up my Pokemon some so that, I don't know, paranoia. Mostly because after the Battle Frontier, my brain just went, yeah, the legendaries are going to kick my ass, aren't they? I just, I don't know. I fell into a... A pit of, ah, well, I can grind. But yeah, we're gonna go to the, uh, the sky pillar, the sky tower. We're gonna see if we can catch us, the dear Rayquaza. And then because of the random information I've picked up, I know that the Weather Institute, I think, tells you where, like, a random, like, rainstorm or drought is happening on specific routes of which a cavern will open up and Kyogre and Groudon will be in there. I'm not sure how hard it is to find them properly because it seems like pseudo chase legendaries. But once you get there, you're there. So who knows? And then after we catch or abandon catching the legendaries, we'll check out the last thing because I heard that something will appear at Meteor Falls after you beat the champion. Like another hole opens up in there, I think. So, yeah. We're going to see about finding our way. I just forget exactly where the tower is, so. I forget exactly where the tower is. I probably should have looked that up. At least on the positive note that me coming back. Yeah, where is the tower? I wish that like would show up on the map. Is it above? I forget exactly where the tower is. I forget exactly where the tower is. We went there once. Is this the tower? Right in front of Moss. This isn't Moss Deep. I'm a fool. Probably should have looked up where exactly it is. Should also probably use a repel because we aren't here to fight random Pokemon. We're here to find our way to the Sky Tower pillar thing. Yeah, so. I guess I can just come back down here because I don't think. Because I do believe the pillar should be to the right. Of this place, and I think it's called Pacific Down. I am terrible with names, and my brain is still on fire. It is ever on fire. Right as I was about to stop and be like, I should use a rappel. Thank you, Wingle of Pain. You only get to live because you're not worth killing. Be gone. And once again, I almost forgot about. Where's the... Do I even have any? Do we have revives? Restores? Do we have repel? Max repel. Is it up here? Ah, I see it though. I see the entrance. I knew it was to the right. But my brain doubted itself. And up here... Unless things changed... Should be Rayquaza. Rayquaza? I always forget 
the the proper name. Is it Rayquaza? Rayquaza? It's like Arceus or Arceus. I didn't get... Meh. I didn't pick up enough speed. Uh, do I not have the right one? I don't have the right one, do I? We're gonna have to fly back anyway. Darn thee. In my opinion, that should mean that this place should then be a flyable to place. Darn thee. Well, Nickel, we shall fly to, I believe, Mauville. Mauville, I think, is where the... Yes, the bike is. And we need the super speedy bike, not the agile bike. For a moment, I thought it was going to say that the bike store was closed, and I was going to be mad. I needed to get to the giant lizard. Let's see. Yep, and it's already activated. And we're not going to go there again, because the battle frontier is terrible. It broke my brain. Like, the idea is cool, but it, is, it definitely went too hard. Way too hard. First things first. Max Repel. And flitty de doo I wonder, like, how they came to decide on, like, the design on the water pathways for this game. An odd thought, but at the same time, it must be a bit difficult to design, like, paths of water that the player is meant to navigate. What are the boundaries, and what are meant to be boundaries, and what are not meant to be boundaries, and how do you do? Darn. I hate you. I also hate that it takes me off my goddamn bike. Whew. Dang it! I over I out psyched myself out. Yes, 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 repel. <laughs> and then we immediately get into a fight. Didn't I do this on like my first try when I went to recruit Rayquaza to fight the bastards? How we can't just waste our power fighting random dudes. Although I should probably choose a different Pokemon to be my front runner. Dang it, I did it again. Psyched myself out. Now we can always buy more repels. It's ever so slightly annoying. Why do I have to make it harder to get up the goddamn place? Ooh. Dang it. I also hate that they break after just one go. Ah, why? It's gonna be painful. And I'm trapped. Why is that even there? To torture you, that's why. Further proof that the designers of this game were masochists. Or sadists. Or satanists. Aha! There we go. Just, I didn't use the mock bike enough to really get to know it. Darn you. At least it has buffer levels, so you can't just get flung off into Doomland. Why does it take so long to get activated? And quit throwing me off my bike! Darn you, why? <laughs> Quit throwing me off my bike. If you're going to have this kind of thing, don't do that. <laughs> Swear game. This was aggravating. Dang it, I hate this. Why? This isn't fun game, this is aggravating. Especially because I swear. The timing is weird on the turns. It's like you have to turn before you turn. 
It's like pre-boarding. You get on before you get on. I, I turned. I turned the game. I did. I pressed left. The game is like, no, you didn't, because we have terrible controls for this goddamn bike. Apparently, I hate this. Why? Did Rayquaza just redecorate the rocks? Hate this. Why can't I go diagonally? Hmm. Why can't I go diagonally? Diagonals exist in the real world. Is this uh, from the lack of bishops in your world game? Eh, fuck off. Hate you. Loathe you. You are terrible. Darn the... It turns, but only when it doesn't benefit you. And again, the, 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 the controls are terrible. I hate you. Why? I don't have time for your bullshit game. Fuck off. Why does that one rock need to be there? It doesn't need to be. It's just the designer being a dick. Why? I hate this. It's mostly the controls. It's mostly the goddamn controls. Why are the controls shit? Why can't there be, like, the good bike option for this? Again, the turning is so shit on this bike. It's just not responsive for when you want it to go. Dang it. Fuck off, game. This is stupid. Why? It wasn't like this. That's a coward's bullshit thing, game. Oh no. We can't have terrible design for the actual story when the player has to come here to get Rayquaza the first time. So quick. Let's make it so that it's bullshit the second time. That's Coward's design game. If this isn't terrible, why did you only change it afterwards? Again, what's the purpose of the other bike if this is the only puzzle that they throw into the game with the bikes? Seriously, what's the point of the other one even existing then, game? Again, I pressed left, but it's because, oh, you, you hit a wall. Uh, fuck off. Terrible design. Uh, da, da, da. What? 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 Oh. oh. That's double bullshit game. They did it on purpose. Why? Again, it's just because you hit a wall is bullshit game. Oh, but yeah. Again, this is a terrible design purely because they were cowards and didn't have this be the mandatory route you had to take to get to Rayquaza the first time. They were cowards and they knew it. Listen, if you're gonna fuck me, fuck me with full force. Have conviction with your design, assholes. Don't just be like, oh no, we can't, we can't have players go through our bullshit. The first time. Because if we did, then the player wouldn't want to go through the post game. This is stupid. I hate this. Why would you do this game? Also, why does today have to be a busy day, apparently? I just wanted to sit down to my stream. Man, you know what? Since this is shenanigans, I shall be right back. I forgot to change. Luckily, this is just the pain zone, so forgetting to re-enable the recording isn't a terrible thing. As I was just saying, dear recording people, it was just two people at the door, saw it on our ring. So I was like, now, oh, check it out. Make sure things good. They were just solar panel people. Blech. Why is there rolling? I stopped before that. And again, that's just jackass design. <laughs> optional is difficult. How about I optionally steal your kneecaps, designers? How about that? I will steal your kneecaps. Your family will never see them again. Okay, and that's just the exit. Good. But yeah, again, it's just coward's design that they're like, oh no, we can't have the optional is bullshit difficulty 
active when the player is going here as part of the story, sure you can. Have some balls. Have some balls when it comes to your design, cowards. Going to save legitimately and illegitimately because we cannot possibly trust these people. Hello, Rayquaza. Hmm. I don't know your typing, so I'm gonna throw Shane in the front. Oh, cool! Seems like he threw us into a cyber dimension. And this is partially of why I did some grinding and admittedly used some rare candies. But, uh, let's see. Oh, that's... Oh, well, maybe that could be good. Oh. This could be super good. I, I just... I don't know your typing. That's the problem. Striker, can you hit him? I don't know your typing. Okay, good. He's still asleep. Uh, first things first, Thunder Wave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, but it failed. What do you mean, but it failed? Don't you mean... Shouldn't it be specifically... Okay, so it's not immune. Why does it just say... Don't you dare throw bullshit at me, game. I don't know why it has rest, though. I feel like that is specifically there. Oh, because it was asleep. Which also means that, really, there's no point to, uh... I was wondering why that was. But yeah, it's asleep. Let's flash it a bit. Lower its accuracy for when it tries to go on the offense. We'll do it just twice. Because, yeah, that was making me wonder. It was like, why? Why did you like that? And used Outrage. How much is that going to do? Is that going to one-shot my poor boy? Almost dead. Uh, Thunderbolt. Lower it down a bit more. And then it'll immediately do another rest. And it's not like I can... Okay, I will take that. You're dead? Sorry, Striker. But luckily this isn't a like, super important thing. Because I'm paranoid. Okay, I'm not... Uh, uh, actually, I will, because it is confused. I am going to save state, because paranoia. And I shall start throwing some balls. Let's see... Hey, uh, would you like a luxury ball, Rayquaza? It's nice and comfy. Uh. And the thing is, I don't want to actually fight it now. Because it's going to do that. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, uh. No more shenanigans. Go Ultra Ball. Please get in it. And don't outrage confusion yourself to death. It's going to outrage confusion itself to death, isn't it? When at the one time I won't want it. Got another Ultra Ball because it's not like maybe maybe I could revive. Str well, what do you want from me, game? What do you want from me, genuinely? Well, I guess since we're here, I guess I'll revive. Let's see. Uh, where's just a normal revive? We'll just normal revive striker. We'll heal. Oh, that. Huh. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be like a. What's the word? Like a super speed up. Not a. Diddly D. Not an attack. That's weird. And you use rest. Which fucks up my plan. I don't think Legendary should be able to heal game. That's just a bullshit thing to do. It's just mean, because it holds no meaning at the end of the day. All that is is wasting the player's time. 
Of which, you've already kind of done that a lot, game. So we're going to get two thunders off. Thunderbolts. And then I'm going to... Please don't get a crit. That would be very mean. And now Thunder Wave. Because this will also hopefully raise our probability. Damn it. Why do... That just wastes my time and I hate it. I also loathe that it gets rid of status effects, because that's one way to increase your chance of catching a Pokemon, is if you inflict it with a status effect. Like, and like maybe sleep would be decent if it lasted long enough. Like, I, I, yeah, I guess it's for funsies. Uh, Pokeball, go. I should have bought more Pokeballs. Damn it. It's asleep. Damn you! Flew high into the sky! I guess flash! And I guess thunder wave again! Because why not? Now please don't kill! Works for me. Don't care. Everybody misses. And another Ultra Ball. You're in the red. You're paralyzed. Get in the ball, please. Why? Why isn't there like a nap ball? It's like, ah, a Pokemon is asleep. Catch it fast. For giggles, I shall throw a normal Pokeball at you out of anger. Watch this critically succeed somehow. No. Okay. <laughs> would have been amusing, but it also would have made me angry. This makes me wonder if they ever thought about dual status effects. What if you could be asleep and paralyzed at the same time? Then your sleep paralysis demon could come to life. We're just gonna skip that quickly. Yeah, I, I really don't like legendary fights that are just, we're gonna waste your time, even though that's kind of what they bit. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Critical hit scary. And you know what? Just because we can, uh, we have a normal save to rely on. If things go catastrophic. And Ultra Ball, go! Will we get it? Will we not? You're asleep, how the fuck? And now the only thing we really can do, because, like, I don't really care to send out Shane. Yeah, because he's going to use rest again. After I wasted a thing on you, how dare you? At least it wasn't that terrible because we got a crit, but... A another spite throw, this time with a premier ball for the giggles. Apparently he doesn't like premieres. Yeah, I just, I don't like stalling legendary fights. It's just like, get in the goddamn ball. It's like, oh, well, that's what the Master Ball is for. Then why is there more than one legendary in the game, if that's the fact? It's just very bothersome to deal with time-wasting upon time-wasting. Again, if it's at that low, if it's in the red, health-wise... In the red health-wise, and paralyzed, I feel like that should at least get it up there of, like, two bounces. Of, like, ah, it is about to be caught. Okay. 
And I don't really have, like, anything else. And I guess do a bite. Because I think it should be out of rests, right? Because rest should be a five power point move, if I recall correctly, even though I myself never use it. Ultra Ball, go! You got to two bounces on a normal Pokeball. You are highly annoying. So I think that should be its final rest, unless the game is mean, and it's like, ah, it's actually a 10 power point rest. Which is just like, why? It is a full heal in the form of a move. And it's just like, sure, it can't do much afterwards, but it's obvious that you know that and you don't care. Because why else would you give a fucking legendary this move if not to annoy people? Why? You are a bothersome motherfucker. And we just have to keep going in the same loop-de-loop. -loop. I paralyze you. You use rest. Sometimes it uses extreme speed. Oh, fuck off, game. That's stupid as all hell. Genuinely, that's just so fucking dumb. Well, fuck it, why not? It's just such a fucking dumb design decision. Of just like, heard you her. I just wanted to see if there was, like, possibility of using that again. Since we were right there. We have it here. It's just very bothersome. Ultra Ball, go! Pokeball, go! Because I'm bored, another Pokeball. It's just very a bothersome thing. And especially because, again, it has random bullshit. Why? I basically have to go, because that's my only real way of doing it, and it's dumb as all hell. Speed up, because I'm sick of waiting. Hyper Potion. I'm gonna see if I can send Striker out, paralyze it while it's still confused. Or it could kill itself, because, yeah, that's fun. I sure do like not being able to catch the fucking Legendary, because the game's stupid. It is asleep and at low health. Get in the goddamn ball. Why? It's at low health. Get in the goddamn ball. Why? Now here we are, wasting our time again, because we have to, because that's the game now, is wasting our time game. Because even though we're at the same fucking point where, like, I feel like once we get to a point where the only real thing that's in danger is, like, the possibility of the boss monster that you want to catch killing itself. I feel like that is cl crossing the line game. Like, the boss monster is already on the cusp of dying by its own hands. Can I plox catch it now? Yeah, it's just like, it's not the boss monster beating me. It's me accidentally beating the boss monster. Because of fucking critical hits? Why? This is dumb. Why? Who does... Fuck off. That's dumb. Utterly dumb. 
find it like the Pokeball the best. It's just such goddamn stupidness. Why? That's all it is, is stupidness. There's no intelligence behind this design. It is just here to annoy you and waste your time. Why? I have more Ultra Ball. Get in the Ultra Ball. Fuck. I guess I can go ahead and make another save state. Because apparently the longer that you're here, the more likely that, like, I don't know, fucking... This is annoying. Maybe he likes a Grave Ball. No. Get in the ball. Why, though? Because all it is is wasting my time. We know the outcome of what this is. It's not going to beat me, and I don't want to KO it. So the only thing is it being an annoying little bitch and wasting my time. Fuck off. It's just such an annoying design. Just like, why? Why even would you ever? Because I basically have to waste Pokeballs until the game is like, oh, you've been here long enough, we'll free you from prison. This is basically it. Almost, and then it's, we're back at stage one. Don't you dare crit or I'll kill your family. Yeah, because it's just an annoying design decision. We're gonna give it a heal. And paralyzed. And it became healthy again, because of course it did, because it's an asshole. Like, I get it. I do. But at the same time, it's just kind of dumb. All right, we got to three bounces. Please. Fucker. Please. Why? Would you like the Premier Ball? And now it's going to kill itself. Like, I think that, like, having a Pokemon that can heal itself and kill itself is dumb. I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It's like the lower... Thank you! Because... <laughs> Ugh, it's just annoying. But Rayquaza has been added. Why did they give it the ability to get confused? Why? It's like they... Because due to the fact of how long you have to be in a fight with a, a legendary Pokemon. How long you have to be in the fight with it. For it to like lower its like resistance down. Why would you give it the ability to KO itself? Because you know the player is going to want to inflict as much damage as possible. What if the player, like, because False Claw, whatever it's called, did come up as a move one of my Pokemon could have learned? And that's moves, like, sole purpose is to lower without killing. Without KOing the other Pokemon. So what if I did that, and then Rayquaza went hard to her, I'm going to now confuse myself and die. Loathsome. Hate it. It's monstrous. It's evil. Rayquaza. Sky High Pokemon, a Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight. It's apparently 23 feet tall and 455 pounds. Impressive. You can stay as just Rayquaza. But yeah, that is dumb. And we can just fly away. Of which, I do believe that the... Where's the Science Institute? 
or like because it's in a corner somewhere. I think it's to the right of Fortree City. I'm oh, not the right, the left. I guess you could say it's. I don't even know my uh, rights from my lefts. So, huh? But I do know that we're gonna have to leave one Pokemon behind for at least Kyogre. Yeah, let's just speed up. Because we're gonna need a dive for Kyogre. That's one other thing that I do know. So we're probably gonna put Lottie in box two. Also, dear God, Rayquaza, your little box icon does you no flattery. But come along. Get in there. He holds a moonstone because I want to banish him there. Well, let's make it because I do believe that this is to the, yes, the Weather Institute. Let's talk to everybody. Let's see. And then we study weather patterns over the whole reason. We've been noticing temporary isolated cases of cases cases of droughts and heavy rains. That's precisely the info I want. We've saved your actions. What I don't understand is what Earth the Aquas were up to. Oh, we were saved by your actions. Indeed you were. I wonder what Team Aqua and Magma are gonna do now if they're good. I track weather patterns over the Hoenn reason. Presently, a drought has been recorded on Route 115. Could that mean somewhere near Route 115? All right, so to Route 115 we go. And hopefully there will be indication of the drought still being there. We'll probably have to have uh, zoom in front, but now 115, 115, let's see. Fifteen to Rustboro City, and then we just have to hope that it's there. I wonder if we could just get into a fight. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I think it's accurate. I think this is the right place too, but I'm in the wrong way. No, unless there's like a cave that can be found through. Surfing, I doubt it, maybe. Oh, hey, we can access the other side. Don't tell me I have to do that. That would be stupid. I don't even know what I'm looking for, technically. But yeah, that better not be the thing. I swear to God, game. Don't you dare, like... There's people here that I haven't fought? I don't even care all that much. I just want to find Groudon. But yeah, the game better not be expecting me to use the, like, hidden room secret base thing that I completely neglected. And just because you're a normal guy who isn't out to hurt me, I will allow you to exist, and I will not speed over you. I probably should have looked up how, like, exactly... Ouch, ouch, ouch! Is it from the drought that you're saying that? I don't really care about fighting people all that much. I'll battle while I'm running. Try to keep up with me. I'm going to throw you into the scalding water. I will boil you down to bones. But at least we know that the Weather Institute thing is working. I just don't know exactly where the... Uh, like, Because I think a cave is going to show up. It has to be a cave. Oh, you look scary. You look like a scary man. 
I guess while we're doing a Pokemon thing and we're just kind of grinding our way to wherever Kyogre could be, uh, I'm just trying to put my thoughts into words, but Pokemon Unite, personally, uh, Ultra Pokemon Ninja Attack, but I like Pokemon Unite well enough. It's fine. Like, it's not too pay to win, apparently, anymore. Like, none of its, like, aspects are too pay to win, from what I hear. Even if, like, some of the kind of paid elements can help. But they are very mean about it being a free-to-play game. Because in most free-to-play games, like, there's a way to actually earn things of value. So that you can be like, ah, while I may not get tons or all of the cosmetics, I can at least still get something. Ah, our strategy failed! Your strategy was terrible. I just... I'm just looking. My Pokemon have Black Belt level strength. I would expect them to have more, really. Our eyes met. There's no getting away now. Technically, my eyes met her. So I shouldn't really be seeing you. Then again, you're a psychic, so what do I know? But yeah. But recently, da da da, Pokemon Unite added a like quote unquote another way to earn things in the most insulting way possible it is literally gambling and it's absurd because basically there's just this extra icon that you can click on and then they have a random selection of bibbidi ba a random selection of cosmetic things like some of them are like Fine, like, oh, like, uh, your human trainer pose for their card. Or, like, icon borders, stuff. Very basic things. And even then, half of them are impossible to get unless you spend money on this quote-unquote possibility to earn thing. Which is hilarious and dumb. This is too humiliating! God, not bad! Because the way it works is, you have two free throws. Two free throws every, like, 12 hours. And then, like, every 24-ish hours, the, uh, like, diddly d thing will change. And at first, it almost seems like, oh, hey. Well, at least I have the mock bike if I need to go up there. I was about to get very angry. But, yeah. Ah, I think this might be the... Is this the cave, or is this just... Terra Cave. I think this might be accurate. I think this might be the thing we need. I don't remember a Terra Cave existing, but I could just be dumb. I could be a very dumb idiot. But, yeah, to quickly summarize, it's just that... Like, at first I thought that the Pokemon Unite literally gambling thing... Oh no, this might just be... Oh, you are here. Ah. Ooh, more cool icons. Let's go. Once again, I also, I didn't note it, but the music is really nice. Once again, going to have a save state. Surf, I guess. It's not going to be as powerful because of, like, the drought stuff. Maybe I could tr Why do you immediately go to rest? You're going to be another annoying thing, and I don't have any status effects to give smack you with. And I didn't buy any Pokeballs. I didn't buy any Pokeballs. So... This is going to be painful because I forgot my Pokeballs. But, yeah, it's going to be this for five billion times. Literally.
Because we can't use... Like... The word, what's the word? We can't use... Bobbity ba <laughs> The sped up scream of my poor Pokemon. Yeah, because we can't use Striker because he's electric. So we can't paralyze him. Um, Ultra Ball, because it bounces a lot of times at once. Nope. So, there's not much we can do against this guy. Because he's fu- Motherfucker, why? That's just mean. This is probably why I hate going after legendaries, because it's just... Then again, actually. No, we can't. Because if we leave, I think it'll also leave. We can't go to buy Pokeballs. Because then he'll just shift to a new place. Which I guess wouldn't be the most terrible thing in the world, but... It would just be bothersome. I guess cut. And let's throw some great balls. That almost had it. That would have been hilarious. Another great ball. Jesus. Mean. Well, he's fire ground type, so maybe I can send Nickel out. I'll just whittle you away. Yeah, I, I am very grateful that I decided to play this on an emulator, because this is absurd and demeaning to my time. Like, I kind of get it, but... Jesus fucking Christ, why? Like, I feel like catching a legendary Pokemon should be like, oh no, this powerful... Oh, fuck off. Why would you give me criticals here? Again, it's just like, this isn't how a legendary fight should go. A legendary fight shouldn't be, oh, the narcoleptic asshole fell asleep again. And is undoing all your progress again and again and again and again. It should be, oh, there's this overwhelming, powerful monster. And it is coming for you. And you need to bear the storm to be able to then be able to beat it and capture it. Except the game's being a cunt. Jesus fucking Christ game. Since he's still asleep, I'm gonna be a funny man and I'm gonna throw a great ball. I'm gonna throw another gray ball because he's asleep. I'm gonna throw another one because he's asleep. And honestly, that's probably the only way we can do things here because this guy is a jerk who's just like, here to her to her. I'm going to heal myself infinitely. Oh, what? Are you out of sleep rest? Jerk. Since he's down, let's go and throw another great ball. Because I, I don't even know, like, what the specifics are to the calculations of this guy. Like, do you need to throw Pokeballs for the chance to go up? Or what? Like, what is the specifics to catching these assholes? It's just stupid. It's just, it's aggravating is all that it is. Fine, you want to do that? I'm just going to double team him infinitely. Until my evasion is all the way up.
So now we can just be here forever. All of that and it still hit. I feel justified in hating stat-up moves. They're just worthless. Gaze upon, like, oh, you should use strategy. All that strategy of, like, raising your stats with moves. And then it fucking does nothing. Will you fuck off, Mike? Uh, why? I hate it. This is just a waste of my time! I should have hacked in more frickin' Master Balls, because this is just brain-dead design, I swear. That's all that this is. It is long, boorish. I'm going to save state, because we seem to be at a point of things happening, potentially. Ah, there we go. It just took me evading forever and just going through so much. Two for three, two for two on legendary Pokemon having rest. And like, that's not even getting into the, like, I forget if Latios, Latios had, uh, or Latios, if Latios had, uh, her healing move before before after I level, leveled her up is just like, ah, all of them get healing moves to waste your time so that you can't just have an infinitely evading Pokemon while you chuck Pokeballs at them. Groudon, the continent Pokemon. Almost 2,000 pounds? He's a dense motherfucker. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. And no for you. But we did it! Huzzah! It's just mildly irritating to go up against these jerks. Very interesting, like, at least the vehicle... For ca like, at least the vehicle to encountering the Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon is interesting. You go to the Weather Institute and they're like, ah, there's weird weather stuff going on there. So it's kind of like the chase legendaries from Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Ever so slightly like them, but you just need to find the general location and then they stay there, which is good. I think that design is really good. But then they had to go and make actually catching them annoying. Like, I get it. They want to make it like this event. But to do that, they went with the most annoying way. Ah, oh, we're going to make them heal eternally. Which not only gets rid of status effects, but also heals them. Route 127. Hmm. Then again, I wonder if the, like, vehicle to having the legendaries out and about is just, like, a permanent thing. Like, they moved to that place permanently. 127, you say. 127. Well, then again, it probably has to be out here. The problem is Route 127 is a whole fucking thing. But we can go to Moss Deep, and uh, while we're at Moss Deep, we can say hi to uh, the Stone Man. Let's see, what house is his? Is it over here? Eh, Stone Man. This is definitely his house, because he has rocks. Stone Man! It's a letter. To Neon. I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take the Pokeball on the desk. Inside it is a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross someday. Stephen Stone. Ah. I guess this is how you get Beldum. Interesting. I shall call you Stephen. 
I won't use you, but we shall have you, Steven. Of the Crystal Gems. Or maybe we could just call you Steve. You're just Steve. Steve the Beldum. Neat. Even though there's, like, no cause to visit Stephen Stone. Then again, I guess it's just like, oh, he's an important character. Go visit him. That's that's the impetus. And we're just going to buy lots of Ultra Balls. Apparently not that many. Shit. I'm poor. Where did all my money go? What did I spend it on? This one, I had lots of money. And first things first. Where is it? Where is the repel? Max repel. Because the problem is... We need to find... Because I think that's just the... The, the trench that Kyogre originally was in. So I don't think there's cause to go there. Well, let's see. There was Terra Cave, so maybe it'll say. Nope, just underwater. This is a very annoying place for... I think it has... If I remember correctly, because random... Uh, Pokemon videos of the past. Oh, and it vanished, so... Hmm. Because we need to go back up. Because, again, this is just the trench where the submarine went, right? It's kind of bothersome. That this is where Kyogre ended up. Well, not here specifically. Because I'm fairly certain that this is just the trench. So yeah, this is definitely not the place. Because that leads down away. From... Maybe... It just doesn't feel right. So it's ever so slightly annoying that Kyogre can show up in places that already have just intense diving areas already, which is bothersome to me. Because it said 127, which is like all of this, which is insane. One step after repel goes away. Why? Yes, yes, yes. Go away, time-wasting effect. Me just want to play game, find legendary in hole and kill it. Ah, we went too far away. But it's just like, again, this can't be the right one, can it? It's just called underwater. It's not like the Terra Cave. Nope. Why? Why can it spawn in a place of just perpetual fuck you bullshit? I hate it. Just random caves and diving areas. That's my favorite. Not being able to actually get damn find anything. Maybe that was just like... Or maybe... Because again, th this has to be the trench that Archie went down. And it's not actually the place. 
Because again. So yeah, this can't be the one. This is a very bothersome game. I hate it. So maybe this one. Because if that one is obviously the trench that Archie went down to find Kyogre in the first place. Ah, uh, this is annoying. I sure do love annoying mechanics that waste my time. That makes me love them all the more and totally doesn't make me wish death. It does make you explore, which I guess is a plus, but... It would be nice if there was a clear indicator of what was what. No, I just ran the clickety click. Done the. And the motherfucker moved. Well, maybe that'll be a good thing. Because, of course, it went to the biggest fucking water mass. So that, that was annoying to deal with. And I wasted a bunch of my repels, and I have no goddamn money. Asshole Kyogre. I feel like there should be a mechanic where if your front, like, facing Pokemon lead is of such a level, lower level Pokemon will just fuck off and not come at you. I feel like that would be nice. So you don't have to spend so much money on repels when you have to spend all your money on Pokeballs because you have to throw a million of them. One, two, five, which I think is just like literally the left of Moss Deep. Which I don't think has as many dive spots. So that could be nice. That could be nice. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, actually, it's just above Moss Deep. Cool! Then again, I didn't explore much above Moss Deep, so maybe it's a hell hole. Oh, there's gonna be people I'm gonna have to deal with. I don't want to fight you! I want to fucking get done with shit! You only had one anyway. Okay. Who is somebody I am not going to use? All of them are pretty viable, all things considered, so I shouldn't be that annoyed, but... I went up and I swear it felt like this motherfucker just stopped me from moving so that he could ambush me, which I find to be bullshit. Maybe it just turned at the right time to make it feel like that? Oh, 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 oh! I think this is it. Think this might be it? Definitely feels like it. It feels like different from the other underwater ones. Yay! Again, most of my annoyance just came from the fact that the previous one was in literally Dive Spot Canada. Marine Cave! Huzzah! I wouldn't be as annoyed when facing them. It's just bleg. Now the question is, who do I want to send in first to fight Kyogre? Because I think it's also a dual type. I just don't know what it's dual in. But let's go fight you and add you to our list. And then we'll go to Meteor Falls to see what's there. Once again, really cool intro graphics. But I do know that we're going to have to suffer through... 
some annoyance. Get speed up, please. Leaf Blade. You fucker! And I, did I? I don't think that I did a load state. I did not do a load state. Hmm. Which means I have to reset the ROM. My bad. Because that's why we make a, 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 a normal save. This is why we do normal saves too. Just in case the game decides to be evil. Yeah, speed up, please. Cool graphics. Fight. I forgot to swap them around. Oh, well. Save. Why'd you decide to go to sleep against Zoom? And you're sure cold keeps missing. Keep missing. I'm gonna throw a normal Pokeball at you to mock you. Is sheer cold like a 10% possibility attack? Jesus fucking Christ, please do not kill yourself! I beg of you! Then again, that didn't stop the last one. The last time. Well, that's just mean game. Don't double-edge yourself. Okay, we're going to revive because Striker can be useful against you. Well, I guess since you're super low, I guess I can throw some Great Balls at you too. And you killed yourself because you're an asshole. Okay, whoever designed this was an asshole. Hey, to her, I'm going to make legendary Pokemon kill self. What kind of sadomasochist asshole are you? Fucking seriously. That's something that a dick th does. Quit using double edge! Fuck off! That is so fucking dumb. Okay, I'm just gonna keep throwing balls at you, because, yeah, you'll use Hydra Pump. Then we can bring out Striker. Thunder Wave, please. Alright, at least now you're paralyzed. You just bring out the pain, so please don't double-edge. For the love of God. Okay, good. There's at least that. But yeah, that's so fucking dumb. Why give the fucking legendary the move that hurts it? I'm sorry, but that's just a dickhead design decision and is deserving of pain of death. We will strap whoever made that decision Quit being a cunt, game. Quit being a cunt. I would like to play game. Because, again, you're not going to fucking beat me. If I wanted to kill the motherfucker, they would be dead. Like, honestly, in my opinion, that maybe is how, like, Pokemon ba like against Legendary should be changed. Like, instead of, like, oh, we're going to annoy you, make it an end into... An actual boss battle. Make it into an actual boss battle. So that when you beat it, you just automatically... Uh, that's not what I want, luckily. There's conf confirmation. Thank God. And it's not like I can even put it onto super low-level health because it keeps trying to kill itself. So stupid. It's like, I'm going to use the move that damages me. Even though that is counterintuitive to a lot of my wants in life. Why? That is so fucking dumb. That is so fucking dumb. That is the dumbest bullshit ever. 
then again, it has a bunch of low PowerPoint moves. So maybe that's it. Why give it double edge? Why give it double edge? Why give it double edge? Fucking why? Why give it double edge? That is the dumbest shit in the world. Double edge is just stupid. And it's on a legendary. And it fucking killed itself, because of course it did. It has more stat thingies for fucking, like, rest. And it's just like, no, I want to use a move that kills me. Because, you know, that's what an ancient, semi-intelligent god creature would do. Is a move with recoil. That's totally what it would do. That's absolutely what would happen. Yeah, game. That's what it would do. Not anything else that would make it stay alive. Nothing else. No. That's the last thing that a semi-god creature would ever want to do. Is stay alive. Because that's how this one, this ancient as fuck motherfucker has stayed alive is suicidally spamming a move that damages it when it's at low health. That's totally what it does all the time. Whoever gave Kyogre double edge needs to be strung up and nailed to the front of the Pokemon Company's wall. Because there is no spark of joy decision in that logic the only reason to do that is if you're an asshole that is literally the only reason why anyone ever would give Kyogre double edge as a move Like, I'm never going to use Max Revive anywhere else. How dare you. But yeah, it just, it makes no, like, sense. I'm going to fucking punch a baby in the face and punch the baby's mom in the face. It's just like, there is no purpose to this. Almost. That would have been hilarious. And it killed itself. Once again, why? There is no reason for that. Does this motherfucker not have any self-preservation instincts? How did it survive this long without self-preservation instincts? There is no reason for Kyogre to use double edge when it has no health. Ah! Like it would be one thing if double edge left you with one HP. But the fact that it can self KO is the dumbest shit. There is no reason for it to have a move that can kill itself in lore or in design. Quit using double edge! Stop! Fuck off! That's genuinely an angering thing like the other ones. The other ones were annoying enough because they were just stalling. And like, they kind of did it with Rayquaza. Where Rayquaza has the annoying bullshit of potentially KOing itself through confusion. But this is purely intentional. It's not even like a heedily he oh. <laughs> Princess Elise in Sonic 06 kissed Sonic. I don't know it's worse, the fact that she kissed an animal or a corpse. I mean, Sleeping Beauty. And plus, Sonic was planned to have a human girlfriend, like, based off of Madonna. So it's not like that crazy. Way, way back when Sonic was first created. 
They're like, yeah, let's give him a, a human girlfriend with big titties. And also, might I say, this is a terribly designed legendary fight. Because they're just like, yeah, let's give the legendary a move that self-KOs itself. Because, you know, that's what the ancient legendary of wonderness would do. Be dumb enough to fucking off itself. Also, once again, no Edgeworth Redeem. Brain... Blame the brain. The brain was very mean lately. I'm just gonna throw Ultra Balls at it until it knocks out Nickel. And then we'll go to Striker. And we'll paralyze and bite the fucker. Only once. Because it's probably gonna be like, you lifty. Why you do that, asshole? It's just being an asshole. We're gonna max revive Striker again, because, like, we're never gonna use this anywhere else. Of course the game would do that. Fuck off, game. Quit giving me this shit, you assholes. This is just a waste of my time. Of everyone's time. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. It'd be one fucking thing, but it's just like, no, the game's an asshole. We're gonna make it so that this motherfucker can kill itself. Why? Again, why? Why does it have a recoil move? Why? Who thought that would be a good idea? It's one thing for Rayquaza to be able to inflict confusion on itself, and then be like, oh, bad, bad. Because, like, that's, a, like, a little paranoia thing. That's one thing. It's not as bad. But here it is a dedicated move and, like, it's dedicated fight move. Which is bullshit. It... And then randomly that. And then randomly that. Randomly. Safe state at the beginning of the fight catch. Yeah, the... Kyogre, you were the worst. I honestly think that chasing down Latias would have been less annoying. Because at least I could have set up things. I could have looked up, hey, what Pokemon to use? And be like, ah, yes, you'll want to use this. So that it doesn't run away or whatever. You'd be able to do things. You could plan for it. That? Why would you give a legendary self-inflicting damage move? Why? There is no reason to do it. None! Why do you be like, ah oh, yes, we're gonna have the Pokemon either rest itself into eternity, or die with double edge? Why? Why would you do that? That is terrible design. Especially when nine times out of ten you're gonna be sitting there throwing Pokeballs at it into eternity. You monster. Once again, whoever decided, ah, Kyogre needs to know double edge. They need to be nailed to the wall of the Pokemon Company's HQ while alive and given food and water so they can stay up there to ponder their sins upon humanity. Maybe drip poison into their eyes like they were Loki because they obviously think they were an amusing little chuckle fuck. Yeah. Kyogre, the sea basin Pokemon. Seems to be a bit bigger than Ky uh, a bit bigger than Groudon. Even though Groudon was like 2,000 pounds. How would Groudon have any trouble bodying this motherfucker? At least, like, Rayquaza was bigger than both of them. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. But Jesus, why? Why in the world would you give a legendary a self-damaging move? Why? It's just a mean thing to do. There's no reason to do it. Except to inflict pain on people. And we already know, because, like, every, like, uh, and also, forgot to mention it because we were in the middle of pain and misery, but three out of three legendaries having rest. They can heal themselves. 
And oh yeah, and by the way, we're gonna make it so that this one damages itself too. Why? We don't know. We just decided to be an asshole today. But with that out of the way, we are now going to go to Meteor Falls. Because I do believe that there should be a thing at Meteor Falls now. I think I remember reading something about something appearing in Meteor Falls after you beat the champion, which makes sense because but when we first went there... Oh yeah, we need to go left, not down. I'm dumb. Because, like, one thing... I just need to remember, like, where the cave is. Now, of course, also put on... Uh, where's the max... Where's my max repel? As we need to find the cave. I think. I think, was that the cave? That might have been the cave. Because we just run by everybody. Is this Meteor Falls? Meteor Falls! Yeah, because if I recall... Yeah, there's a waterfall. At Meteor Falls. So I guess let's go up the waterfall. Use waterfall. I completely forgot that that waterfall existed. Well, obviously we're meant to be here. Let's go. There's a way down. I guess we can check out the way down. There's a way up. Iron Tail! Neat. I guess maybe through here? Repels wore off. I don't care to fight li uh, random fightings. I'm here to discover things that could be discovered. Odd little dead end, but okay. And oddly dramatic music as well. Now we have repel. Let's go up here and see if there's a clicky clicky on this rock. There was not. Why then? Why would that exist? That's weird. Just random dead ends all over the place. Oh, Steven! Steven, my man. You're probably gonna kick my ass. Who should go first? And I'm fighting out of a, with a fucking handicap. Oh no. Uh, I guess... We'll have Zoom Tank. We'll have Zoom Tank. Oh. Wow, Neon. I'm amazed you knew where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled along each alongside each other at the Sutopolis Space Center, in which I carried us! You did hardly anything! I carried us through that! You should have a very good idea about how good I am. Yeah, you suck. Except now you're probably gonna take a Wally jump, and you're probably gonna be here to kick my ass. Okay, Neon. If you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Oh boy! Pokemon trainer Steven would like to battle. Oh, son of a bitch. He is a higher level than even the goddamn legendaries. I should have brought them. Oh, no. But one thing I should do, because poison... As I recently learned, gets worse the longer the Pokemon is out. Well, apparently I uh, swapped in just the right, uh, the right time. Thunderbolt! Annihilate that Skarmory! <laughs> Watching its health slowly go down. <laughs> Let's see how long. Really, we should probably just go attack, attack, attack. Uh, well, it's steel. Why is it not utterly dead against things?
Kindly die. Thank God. Hopefully your Metagross. Well, let's change. Hmm. Well, you can be a sacrifice. You're gonna be the sacrifice because we need to heal up the boy. My poor darling striker. Oh, there's the horns of Hoenn. Are you dead, Dive? Honestly, I'd be more impressed if you survived. Hmm, I wonder what typing you are. Steel and Psychic, I think? Thunderbolt! Still think that steel should be super affected. Why does everything no fucking earthquake? Well, if you're part psychic, maybe this will annihilate you. Bite his soul with crunch. Why do all the steel Pokemon in this game just not take any damage? I hate it. Steel is such a bullshit typing. Like, genuinely. Oh, you're gonna eat something, you asshole? Bash your face into it. I hate everything. Why is steel typing in this game when nothing can fucking kill it? I hate it. It's such an annoying typing in this game. It's like, oh, you don't have fighting? Fighting only. Again, I thought you were like steel psychic, so why did the dark do nothing against you? What typing are you, and why are you an asshole? Spikes should really disappear at some point. Please get a crit and kill this asshole. I hate him in his ugly steel face. Magically survive, but you won't because the game's an asshole. Like, I have to keep Max reviving Striker, because they're like... Because this guy's obviously just a team of frickin' annoying steel types. Speaking of annoying... Well, let's do Earthquake against you, then. See how you like it. I forgot that that's... Oh, that doesn't even do much damage. You're an asshole. Why is- Of course he gets a critical hit! Fuck off, game. That's that's so stupid. Why does he get a critical hit before me? I'm gonna waste your fucking time. I'm gonna speed up. That's just so dumb. Who the who? I get you a critical hit. Oh, where's all the critical hits that I was getting against frickin' Kyogre and stuff, game, huh? Why? Please have him miss again. Then again, I could, if I was smarter, I could have done the... Fuck off. You're an asshole, game. You're terribly designed and nobody loves you. And now he's just gonna use fucking Earthquake again because he's a fucking asshole. Why are spikes still here?
You're a fucking asshole, game. Terribly designed. Why is he using steel? It's such a bullshit typing. I saved the forum game. I know I did. Maybe I did a load state. I know that I did it, though. Fuck off. Well, I've... I know that I caught the motherfucker. Fuck off, game. I'm not going through that again. Dickhead. I know I saved before it. Fuck off, game. Another reason to hate steel typing. Because it's dumb and makes you accidentally not save when you totally did. Because I fucking swear that I freaking goddamn saved. And the game is just like, no you didn't. It's like that Thanos meme. No. -uh. If I really wanted to, I could probably bring in... Well, actually, I have half a mind to bring Kyogre in, because Kyogre is an asshole. Because, let's see. As much as I do like my team, he is an asshole, and so he must be taught a lesson. We will bring the two legendaries that we caught, except for Kyogre, because the game's an asshole. And it's just like, oh, you totally didn't save, even though I totally did. Totally did game. I wonder if Rayquaza could learn Waterfall. Hmm. Yeah, you're not as good against Steel types, and that's all that there is in there. And we need Dive, because the game's an asshole. And we can't really bring you in, because for some reason, the game's like, ah, but you see... Psychic doesn't affect steel, which still doesn't really make much sense. It's like, ah, you see, steel is strong against psychic for resistance. Because it's like tinfoil, I guess. Makes no bloody sense. And they're just like, ah, for our, I guess our post-game champion fight, or whatever the hell that is, why couldn't he have actually have been useful against the Team Magma when they attacked the Space Center? Because his Pokemon were weak as shit back over there. They are basically just there as meat shields. Then comes along this asshole, and he's like, Argh. I'm actually a god. Well, why didn't you actually do anything helpful beforehand? Well, you see, it's because we wanted to fuck with the player more. Because that would have actually been interesting if we, like, worked, like, uh, in that double battle. If we saw him and he was just like, oh, yeah, by the way, my Pokemon are fucking jacked. They could have just been level 60 or something. Like, level, like they, at least just a higher level of what they were compared to what they were. Yes, 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 we know. Fanfare, fanfare. And, uh, super confirming, save state. Hello, Steven, I'm here to kick your ass from the future past. Don't really have anyone that's good against you anymore, because we got rid of Striker in my rage. Actually... Because it's part flying, would that make it immune? Probably. Let's throw in Groudon because I'm annoyed by your existence. Speed up, speed up. Speed up, speed up. Why is it... Hmm. Why do you get all the fucking critical hits, you asshole? At least I get to experience the power... Of fucking things. I shall send out him because he has a earthquake attack. Speed up, please. Earthquake, die. Let me get critical hit on him and he die in one hit.
Well, at least this guy's kind of an idiot. Well, since we have uh, the ability to, let's take this moment to uh, full restore Groudon. Surprise, asshole, I have things too. Yeah, 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 you have Earthquake. You, you're big and strong. You're big and scary. Uh. I'm going to Hyper Potion Shane, and then we're going to Earthquake your world again. Ah, you use something other than Earthquake. Good for you. And we got... Was that a critical hit that we got there, game? You're an asshole. Oh. You're different. Earthquake? What typing are you, you rock? You're rockin' bug. Rockin' bug, I think, is what it is. I guess we can send out Nickel. Double team! Why do you know Ancient Power? Why? There's no reason for you to know Ancient Power. You have no reason to. Yeah, I think that's... Hmm, uh, fire Blast again. I'll just spam powerful moves against you. Cradly. I think that's... A Grass Rock. I want to use you. What if we use Outrage? You fool, I was already going to become confused. Outrage! And now you're dead. Now he's gonna send out Clay Doll. Psychic Rock. I think. I'm just gonna send out Zoom. I shall heal Shane, just cause we can. Good for you. You've raised your defense. What if we rock smashed you to lower your defense? Oh yeah, because you're part psychic. Great, it's going to raise its stats into oblivion. Alright, let's try if we headbutt it. Ah. Everything has ancient power in this game. Everything does. Uh, do you have, like, the levitate ability? I think you might have the levitate ability. Let's do this anyway. Eh. How dare it be like, exist, Leaf Blade. And I got a critical hit! At least, <laughs> it actually did something! Ah, oh, you're gonna send out Metagross, huh? You're gonna send out Metagross, huh? I've growled on. I was nice and last time didn't use three legendaries. Now and then you annoyed me by being an asshole by using steel types a lot. When they're broken in this game, in my opinion, because they have, are immune to everything. Now die. I just realized, technically, I never had a fire type on my team, I don't think. I probably should have shuffled out, like... Night Fang at some point. And now I know that he's going to do the funny aha of like, uh, do a heal. So I'm gonna see if I can do a fissure. Aw. Oh, it's unaffected? Is that because it also has frickin' levitate or something? No, because it was affected by the diddly d. It was affected by, what was it called? It was affected by Earthquake, so it can't have levitate. So I wonder what the hell that you have that you are just like, oh, I'm unaffected. Or was, was that just its unique, oh, this one hit kill move missed? If so, that's dumb. Just say that it missed, game. How hard is it to say, oh, move missed? Also, he didn't use his healing. He didn't use his full restore. Probably because, like, oh, you brought legendaries. I'm not even going to try anymore. You're the one that was mean. And I brought out legendaries to fight you. You... I had no idea you'd become so strong. You had no idea that I went and gathered legendaries. 
Not even just to fight you. I, I just grabbed them, and then you were a mean in an alternate timeline, so I used them against you. Suffer. Come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed in Granite Cave in Duford, I had this feeling. I thought that you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. And where will you go from here? <laughs> Even I couldn't tell you that. Why does everyone laugh like, fuh, fuh, fuh? Come to everything. Yes, yeah, so that's all you have to say. And I do believe that aside from, like, the Battle Frontier, technically Kyogre since time reset, because, again, I swear that I saved there. But apparently I didn't. But yeah. At least in some timelines, I caught all the legendaries. At least the ones that are, like, immediately available. Oh, yeah, because there are, like, the Reggies, but I don't really care to get the Reggies, because they're just... You're probably going to be more of the... Oh, puzzles. Which the puzzles could be cool, but... Eh, Emerald is kind of mean when it comes to catching legendaries. Ever so slightly mean when it comes to catching legendaries. So I do not think that I'm going to put up with it. <laughs> then again, once again, Brain says, could just, like, add in Master Balls somehow, but eh, I don't think I'd want to do that. It's one thing to be like, uh, ah, save state so that we just don't waste as much time. As opposed to completely circumvent the balancing of the game by adding in items that are, that are only meant to be one of. Let's see if there's anything that Professor has to say. For the time being, I'm taking a break from field work. I'll be helping out the Professor for a while. You mean your dad, and also are you standing down there? Ani, Ani, curious about your Pokedex coming along? Sure. Are you listening? Are you using any rods? There are many Pokemon in the sea. Mm, on a nationwide basis. Yes, yes. So yeah, nothing much. So yeah, there are more things to do. Like, I think if you complete the normal decks, you get something. There are the Regis to technically do. And, uh, <laughs> technically the, 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 the Battle Frontier. But we're not gonna do the Battle Frontier, because the Battle Frontier is a lot of horror shit. It's badly designed. Overall, though, I think I really did enjoy Pokemon Emerald. It's just once it got down to the lol lol -lo optional means difficult, they kind of just turn into assholes. It's like they outsourced the end game design to somebody else, and that person deserves pain and misery. They deserve to be trapped in a Pokeball and then thrown against a wall a million times until they are screaming in agony. They deserve to have a perpetual headache like I did for the past three days. So they may know of the pain that they almost re-inflicted upon me. They deserve to have their kneecaps stolen by me and sold upon the American free market. Because it might as well be a black market at this point. But yeah, when it comes to the actual base game of Emerald, it is completely fine. It is a good Pokemon game. Like... Magma and Aqua are... I wouldn't have... They're not really interesting enemies to fight. Mainly because they don't really have much typing variety or Pokemon variety. And... It's also something odd that I noticed. Because in Pokemon Crystal, Lance is going on the offensive taking down Team Rocket. And it's like fledgling trying to return phase. Meanwhile, in this game, nobody is doing anything about Magma or Aqua. Aqua literally took over a cave that's right next to a city town. Nobody did a thing. Like, at least Magma was hidden in a volcano. But, like, nobody cared about the stolen meteor. Nobody cared about the... At least I think it was a stolen meteor. Nobody cared about the stolen orbs from the cemetery mountain. Nobody seemed to care about magma or aqua just going about doing things. Yeah. While you suffer from a headache, remember to stay hydrated.
But yeah. Nobody did a thing about Aqua or Magma. It is honestly hilarious that Magma and Aqua fought each other more than anybody else fought them aside from me. The only other person to actively fight only Magma was Steven. Nobody else did anything. They stole from the premier, like, Sto Steven Stone Corp. They stole from so many places and tried to get jet fuel to explode a volcano. And nobody did a thing. Nobody did anything. And meanwhile, in Crystal, like, in Pokemon Yellow, Blue and Red, there was a police officer. A, a, a Miss Ginny. A police officer Ginny looking into a house break-in by Team Rocket. A house break-in. In Pokemon Crystal, Lance, the champion of the time, was taking his duty as Pokemon champion to take down criminal organization. The champion of this game was like, Ugh, I don't feel so good in a cave. Even as the world was going to hell. And they was just like, oh yeah, now we need to, wherever could Rayquaza be? So yeah, I, it's just, the quote-unquote story of this game is dumb. Also, I'm gonna say it, the rival in this game is bad. The rival in this game, the daughter and or son of the professor, doesn't really do anything. They don't have an. They don't feel like they exist all that much. You run into them, you fight them. They don't really seem to have much of an ironclad personality. It's just kind of aloof, slightly, kind of condescending towards you, but at the same time doesn't really do anything. Wally really should have been the true like rival. It, it makes sense, in a way, because you meet Wally early on. All they had to do was make it so that, like, the one town over is where your father's gym is. You go there, and instead of doing the gym there, that could also be, like, a kind of a callback to Virilian City. I forget. The, the one that Giovanni headed as gym leader. Where, like, oh, the first gym you don't actually do, which I think they still do, but it's not, like, directly across from your hometown. Yeah, I just feel like Wally should have been introduced sooner. You should have helped him catch his Ralts sooner. And he should have been the rival through the rest of the game. Instead of meeting him only, like, three times, you should have f fought him all along the way. And it should have been this, like, oh, you're the... the, the you are the offspring of a gym leader, and you're kind of a mentor to Wally. And so it could be this interesting thing where Wally is like your protege, and you're helping him grow as a Pokemon trainer, but you're also growing as a Pokemon trainer yourself, and you want to be the champion. And I think that could have been a cool dynamic, but instead it's just Wally randomly go Super Saiyan and is able to match you at the end game before the Elite Four somehow with no cause or reason why. And then your traditional rival, the son or daughter of the professor, just stops existing after a point. They do not matter. They show up. Do they even love do they even evolve their their starter to the final one? Because I don't remember th the guy having Blaziken ever. Like, maybe at the final battle we had, but I don't even remember where that is. But, yeah, the rival is kind of ant in this game. Especially, like, compared to Silver. Or, like, whatever the agreed-upon name of the gold, silver, and crystal rival is. Thief Re thief Crime Man who stole his starter. He was at least an interesting like rival. He kept showing up 
and like his personality was kind of interesting in a Shadow the Hedgehog Vegeta kind of way. Gary is just pinnacle rival because he's such like a condescending douchebag, but he holds through the entire way. He steals the title of champion out from under you and you have to fight him. He's just the perfect rival so far. But yeah, it's just kind of meh that the champion, I mean, not champion, but the rival in this game, again, either Wally should have been the rival or they should have cut Wally out and had the offspring of the professor be the main rival and dedicated more time to them. Or hell, maybe make Wally the son of the professor. Something, anything, just... I don't know. Just like, I feel like you could, like the rival could just have been more interesting. And they just weren't in this. They existed, but they didn't do anything. Maybe the rival could have helped us take on Aqua and Magma. Like, as we constantly run into Aqua, it seemed, primarily, maybe they could have run into Magma constantly. And we could show up to help them take down Magma near the end, and they could show up to help t us take down Aqua at the end. Just include more of the rival in this game. Meh. I will say I think that this game is better than, like, Pokemon Yellow, but so far I think Pokemon Crystal is better than this game. Like, I don't know why. The world of Hoenn isn't as interesting to me as Johto. It could be that, like, there was, like, a... F the, it, there was, like, a vibe, an aesthetic to Johto. There was something about Johto, like, running into the guy who was, like, the last in a line of Pokeball makers by hand. Out of apricots and stuff. There was the Tale of the Towers... There was the legendary beasts. And, like, sure, the Reggies exist in this game, but there's, like, nothing pointing to them. There's not like, oh, you go to this temple and it talks about the legend of the Reggies. There's nothing like that. And there's nothing really pointing to finding the Reggies. There's nothing pointing to really finding Kyogre or Groudon. The, really, the only thing, the only legendaries that are really telegraphed in any way are Latios slash Latios and Rayquaza. And Rayquaza is only because you know that he was at the tower once, maybe he'll be there again. And even then, the tower, like, the, oh, you want to go and get Rayquaza tower challenge is stupid because I am 99% sure that they were cowards and didn't have the difficult post-game bike challenge that you need to go through to capture Rayquaza when you first go to ha call upon him to break up the fighting of Groudon and Kyogre for the story. That's cowardly. Make the children do the difficult post-game challenge thing if you're going to include it at all. But they were probably just like, oh no, this is too hard. We have to make it easier so kids can clear the story. Well then, if it's too hard for kids to clear the story and have a base be there, why include it later? Choose one. Either have the tower just be the tower, or show that you're an evil bastard and make it incredibly difficult to get up the tower both times. <laughs> Granted, I would be annoyed at it existing both times, but at least there would be consistency there. But, yeah, I got distracted there. Because I got on a ramble tangent. But yeah, really, Pokemon Emerald almost feels like, like Pokemon Yellow in a way. Legendaries exist, but they just exist in random places with no rhyme or reason. Like, oh, this Pokemon is in this optional abandoned power plant. It's in this cave. 
It's on this island. Why? No one knows. But in Pokemon Crystal and Gold and Silver, like, they telegraph the legendaries to you. The legendaries are part of myths and legends. The legendary dogs, yes, they are slightly annoying because they run around. They were a constant presence. And you could find them, run into them, track them, and make a thing of going after them. Sure, they were annoying to go after in the end, but they were more invigorating and engaging. And also, the AI of the legendaries in this game is shit. Hate it. They're annoying with their, like, ooh, I have, like, a bunch of moves that are low power point, And I can use rest. And then Kyogre had double edge for some reason. Why? Why would you give the legendary a move in which it damages itself? When the entire point of catching legendaries is to lower their health as much as possible, maybe inflict a status effect, and then chuck Pokeballs at it until your hand grows numb. Why would you make its singular, normal, attacking move double edge? Like, maybe the thought process was, ah, we're going to make it so that the player has to think and, like, leave a bunch of health on Kyogre as they throw Pokeballs, so they'll need to have a high defense Pokemon to tank while they throw Pokeballs to weaken it, but still, that's dumb. It honestly feels like they were worried that players would be too strong when facing the legendaries, so they made them just annoying to fight. They gave Kyogre and Groudon one-hit KO moves. They gave all three of them rest. And two of them also have the ability to hurt themselves, as Outrage on Rayquaza can cause confusion. But at least it's a simple thing that can only sometimes happen, and only after Outrage is used. Meanwhile, Kyogre just has double edges of basic move meaning that it's going to faint a lot. And if you do it legitimately of saving before fighting it, you're going to be stuck there retrying to fight again and again and again. Granted, I also redid the fight against Ho-Oh again and again and again a long time ago when I played Crystal. But there was something like... But at the same time, Ho-Oh was in one place. Ho-Oh was in one place and also had a healing move. I'm fairly certain. But yeah. There's just something off about Emerald. Like the legendaries, the world, the criminal group. It just kind of feels half-hearted almost. Like, eh, I don't know. It could be that, because... There's just something about Pokemon Yellow. It's the first game, but it had a good rival. Team Rocket's a fun enemy to fight. The obstacles that you come across are kind of interesting. Like, oh, you need the Silph Scope to go fight the ghosts to get the flute. And it's just like, there was a nice build-up to things. Pokemon Crystal, and also along the way Silver and Gold, still had Team Rocket, but it was in a different flavor. And the rival was also in a different flavor, a more malvolent enemy. And, like, the land of Johto was interesting, the characters you came across were interesting. But there's just something about Emerald that, like, doesn't feel as polished in the world and the legendaries and the places and the people. Like, yeah, there is, like, the CEO Stone guy. There's Steven. Your father is a gym leader. That's kind of cool, but nothing's really done with it. Meanwhile, in Pokemon Crystal, you met Oak. There's, like, nobody from the previous generation in this game. Yeah, the, the legendaries just feel kind of weak in the gameplay department design-wise. Lore-wise, Kyogre, Rayquaza, and Groudon are cool. They are very cool Pokemon. 
and it's cool that the legendaries affect the story here. The problem is, gameplay-wise, they're kind of lame. Gameplay-wise, and even story-wise, Aqua and Magma are kind of lame. Again, it's kind of weird that nobody actively went after these two crime groups, despite the fact one of them literally lived and just wandered around a town. They are a known wanted criminal group. Nobody did anything. None of the Elite Four went there to beat them up. That's weird. There's just something off about Emerald. Like, it's not bad. But it's definitely not as good as Crystal and maybe even Yellow. But before that, before I continue on, let's give other thoughts of the game. Like, the Gym Leaders. The Gym Leaders felt weird because the first four were pretty hard to beat. The first one like, managed to knock out my starter with their nose pass. Brawly put up a hard fight. Then Watson really put up a hard fight, mainly with his Magneton and kind of his Manetric. And Flannery just spamming her TM move on all four of her Pokemon felt kind of janky. Gonna admit, felt kind of janky. But then after that, the gym leaders kind of fell back in line, like... The flying-type lady wasn't that bad beyond her, like, dragon-type flying one, the cotton ball. The father, our father, isn't that terrible to fight. He was pretty fun. The twins in the double battle gym just fucking cheated, but still weren't terrible to beat. And then the final guy, uh, the champion's, like, mentor, he was snazzy and not terrible to fight. The Elite Four and Champion I hardly remember much about. I think that's it. Just like... There's just something off about Emerald. It's fun. It's fine if you just do the main game. But... I do think that it is kind of weak. I do find it kind of odd that they're like... Like, that. here's another thing. I find it weird that they have two bikes in this game. Ah, the Acro bike and the like, the other bike, the Mach bike. I think they should have just had one bike because there's only like a handful of places that the like Acro bike is used and the Mach bike is frustrating to control at times. It just really does feel like there's a bunch of half-hearted things in Emerald. Like, there's even the, like, Safari Zone, and I didn't even go into it. While you ramble, remember to stay hydrated. It feels like a bunch of and then. A bunch of ideas, but no polish. But... It's still functional. It's just probably not my favorite Pokemon game just yet. I think I prefer Crystal over it, and I think it's pretty much tied with Yellow. Yellow could be an odd case of nostalgia, because even though, like, I was kind of older when I played, Ye like, Blue and stuff, like, I replayed Yellow not that long ago, and I still had fun with it. There were just a lot of frustrating moments in Emerald. It could be that it's Emerald and not Sapphire or Ruby, because apparently they did beef up the difficulty ever so slightly in Emerald. So who knows? There's just something off with Emerald. It's fine, the music is cool, but Hoenn isn't really interesting to me. Like, they go out of their way to... Like, establish lore about places, like Sutopolis. But nothing's really done. There's no real, like, functional lore. Like, like what is even, is even with the Cave of Origin? It's like... Johto just felt more interesting to me. Kanto is because... Kanto exists because it's the first, like, region of the games. 
Johto feels interesting because it has a cool vibe. It has a cool aesthetic. It has the unknown ruins. It has the towers. It feels like it has a mythology. Hoenn just kind of exists. There's nothing really talking about the two legendary Pokemon except for the things immediately related to them. Nobody mentions Groudon or Kyogre. Until they're like, oh, the stolen gym thingies. These were used to do a thing. It just feels like they skimped out on, like, lore. They skimped out on the lore of the places and the characters and the Pokemon. And filled it up with cool ideas, but none of them really stand out. To me. It's not a bad game. It's just that I think it could have been better. I think it could have been more polished. I think that's it. It feels like a first draft of a game. Like, not functionally. <laughs> we'll get to that. But, like, when it comes to the story and pacing and characters and, like, the story of the region and the legendaries. It all feels kind of first draft. That, like, they plopped down the ideas, but then failed to connect the ideas. Like, maybe you could have Birch looking into weird weather phenomena as Aqua and Magma slowly make their way to awakening their chosen legendaries. And the, your rival, again, could be part of that story. Like, connect things. Have things intertwine. Maybe include Latio slash Latias in there more. Like, sure, there's mention of, like, oh, there was a green flying uh, Pokemon over this area. But, like, that was all that there was. And again, Reggies are in this game, but there's just, like, nothing pointing you to them. And, like, sure, it could be kind of cool to have, ooh, legendaries that you need to seek out on your own that aren't mentioned anywhere. That could be cool. But it's just that there's only so many legendaries in this game. And they're all presented kind of plainly. I don't think there's anybody that tells you to go back to the Weather Institute to find out where Kyogre and uh, Groudon are. And I never got the Latios. Latios oh, is like, ooh, there was a Pokemon sighted at this route, like, on the TV message. I never got that. Like, I think I got it at the very beginning when the Pokemon was, like, basically saying, yes, this Pokemon exists now for you. But yeah, I think this might be one of the weaker Pokemon games in my opinion. Oh god, I- oh, oh god, I just realized something. I think I loathe the end- uh, post-game stuff in Pokemon Emerald more than I do <coughs> the- the end-game, post-game stuff of Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. Huh. Didn't think that would hurt. Like... <laughs> I just realized also... The legendary Pokemon that you fight in the post-game of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team have more, like, existence than in this one. The Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that's effectively tied to this generation is just... Yeah has better representation in, like, ideas and stuff. Uh, that's kind of sad. But, yeah. Overall, the base game of Emerald is fine. I personally prefer Crystal. But now let's talk about the goddamn other things. Because... Catching Latios and Latias, I think that could have been better if you could always check a TV. And you'd be like, oh, there's a rerun of this newscast. Because 
Why not? Do it. And then you could know where it approximately is. Or, like, why not bring back the radio from Pokemon Generation 2 and have that tell you where... Like, ah, a news bulletin. A colorful Pokemon was sighted on Route Go Hell. But, uh... Let's now address the elephant in the room. The power, the, the 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 battle frontier is terrible. It's just terrible. Apparently, they designed the battle frontier with like actual competitive Pokemon strategies in mind. But if so, I just gotta ask, why would the battle frontier basically have representation throughout the entire game through Scott? who keeps showing up, and he's just like, uh-huh, uh, keep proving yourself, kid. And it's just like, it's this thing that's foreshadowed to hell and back. But finding... But, but, but like, finding the Reggies, Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Ice, those things aren't even mentioned anywhere that a normal player would casually stumble across. You're going to throw the Battle Frontier in the face of casual players, but not other catchable legendaries? Are you high? Because again, if I've been told correctly, the Battle Frontier was made with competitive strategy in mind. Actual, at the time, competitive strategies by real people. Which would explain the annoying bullshit that was that Jumpluff and Mega... Mag... Mega... Uh, Leaf's Evolution, I forget its name. Megan? I don't know, my brain just cannot say that name. But yeah, because I find those two to be highly annoying examples. Where it's not just, oh, they were highly trained Pokemon, and they had good moves. No! They had leftovers, and heal moves, and leech seed, and stuns. And, like, no attacks besides Leech Seed. And so when it inevitably came down to a struggle, because struggle isn't percentage-based on health in this generation, they would just out-heal the struggle damage. Which is stupid. And the fact that to fight a Frontier Brain, you need to go on a win streak up to, I believe, not 10 wins... Overall, 10 runs, which I think, at least for the Battle Tower, comes out to about 70 battles in a row. With them only getting more and more bullshit. The Battle Frontier is just poorly designed. Because, yes, it might be nice if there was competitive level, like, challenges as a post-game for Pokemon, but they need to clearly be stated and also, like, maybe have, a, a, like, an actual normal tier. Like, ah, would you like to just go through normal Pokemon battles? And that could be the Silver Frontier Brain Badge. You go through five rounds of uh, win streaking, and then you fight the Frontier Brain, and they're just a normal Pokemon battle. And then if you want the gold, you have to actually use super strategy stuff. Which I think would still be stupid because I think you could go in with like super duper strategies and still be hyper frustrated by the battle frontier. Again with the weirdness of like, oh, we're gonna have a level 50 option for the battle frontier. But like the champion of this game is knocking on level 60, but we won't let you out-level the level 50 challenge, but we will let your challengers out-level you in the open level challenge. It's just annoying. The Battle Frontier is poorly designed, in my opinion. I also think that, like, it's kind of interesting to fight Steven Stone, and really, the only reason I was so annoyed with Steven Stone's battle is because I was fed up with fighting steel types throughout this entire game, as well as fed up from the legendaries just being annoying and time-wasting. But, yeah, if it weren't for that fact and I went in 
to face Steven without frustration, it probably would have been a lot of fun. But again, St Steel is an annoying type in this game, and I just didn't have the Pokemon to exploit Steel types. And I kept forgetting that Shane had Earthquake. But yeah. The Legendaries were very annoying to capture. Oddly enough, the Chase one was the easiest, because I used my Master Ball on him. <laughs> but, I again, all three of them having rest... All of them being absurdly hard to catch in catch rate terms. Kyogre having a self-damaging move as its only consistent move. They were annoying and, in my opinion, poorly designed as well. At least Kyogre. The other two might be subjective, but Kyogre is objectively badly designed because of the self-damaging move. Just why? Why would you do that? Why would you give a Legendary, the Pokemon that is most likely to be brought down to 1 HP the most often, a self-damaging move? When it has an absurdly high catch rate. And again, also had the annoyance of, ah, it is raining, and Kyogre's ability is going, so it's just like animation, animation, animation. Where if you didn't have the, the fast forward of an emulator, it would be so painful to go through. I think the really Pokemon Emerald is a death by a thousand cuts where there's it feels like battles are a bit slow in terms of animation like it takes a while for you to get back to your turn which is a little annoying and then like yeah the legendaries were annoying the battle frontier was a letdown the first half of the gyms were tougher than the other half, but that could just be that you get revives in the latter half of the game, so revives and heals come in more at that point, because you have more money and more options in terms of healing. But there's just a bunch of small things. A bunch of small things. I can definitely see why people really enjoy Emerald and might see Emerald as the fan-favorite Pokemon game, but personally, as of now, of the Pokemon games that I have played recently. When it comes to mainline Pokemon, I prefer Crystal. When it comes to Pokemon overall, I would say Pokemon Blue Rescue Team Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Kind of hard, kind of, kind of tough to be like, ah oh, yes, this Game Boy Advance Pokemon game is totally worse than the Nintendo Switch isekai game <laughs> isekai pokemon game but yeah there's just something weird about emerald there's a lot of good here the character designs are cool the pokemon are cool the music is great but there's just something about the difficulty and like flow like again Johto just feels more interesting in aesthetic and vibe and characters and story. Whereas the villain crew in this is not really all that interesting. Your rival isn't really all that interesting. Wally is kind of interesting, but he's not really there all that much. Like, there's things, and I, like, again, this feels like this could have used a few more refinements to the story, to the flow, to the characters. Just a few bit more. Just a little bit more. And I... D <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. There's just something about this. And kid, I'm still... It still baffles my mind. It's like, we're gonna make a post-game actually competitive based off of actual competitive strategy Pokemon challenge. And then not tell the casual players about the other legendaries they can get. You, it, they don't tell you how to find the Reggies. They don't tell you how to find Kyogre or Groudon. But they sure as hell tell you how to find the Battle Frontier. You know, the thing that's going to absolutely annihilate the casual players. Why? It makes no sense. Eh. But yes, with this done and po uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth done... Uh... I should fall back into a flow of playing Breath of the Wild and trying to finish off Ace Attorney 
uh, Trials and Tribulations, because I did the t tutorial case a bit back, and I really found it interesting how they decided to do that one. It was really fun. It was really fun. It was really cool. And it might be a bit before we get to Pokemon Platinum as we continue our Pokemon playthrough. Again, want to beat the Ace Attorney Trilogy and get back to Poke... Uh, <laughs> yes, Pokemon Breath of the Wild. But yes, yeah, so get back to Breath of the Wild, get back and beat the Ace Attorney Trilogy. And then I'll have to decide on what next to do. Like, because we have Pokemon Platinum, we have... Uh, like I said, Pokemon Platinum, we have Explorers of Sky Mystery Dungeon Pokemon... We have so many other games that I can choose to go do that I really want to do. So, yeah. Need to close this out, and at least this feels like a better ending than the Battle Frontier. Getting a single badge in the Battle Frontier was agony, and I hated it. But, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two edited... I have two edited content. I have two YouTube channels. One is an edited content YouTube channel. I swear, content's coming eventually. I'm refining some scripts, actually. It is called Neon Icy Wings. And I hope to throw content there in the relative near future. And then there's also the streaming YouTube channel, as well as streaming archive channel on YouTube, Neon Icy Games. So if you prefer to watch me on YouTube for streaming live, you can catch me there. Or you could go there to watch the various video games that I've played on stream in the past. Like Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. And then, actually, Pokemon Legends Arceus, because I played that when it came out. And then also, like, uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land... Mass Effect Trilogy, lots of games. And if you want other things from me, like uh, art, similar to my little guy in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, and more. And those can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Also, links there are uh, my archive of our own, so you can catch me writing if you want. Writing is fun. Or my Patreon if you want to throw a few dollar dues my way to help me survive the evils of the world. <laughs> But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you dudes next time. Bye-bye.